in your afternoon medical news, the number of preterm births increased 10% over a recent 10 year period. That's from a study that from New York University. Finding certain risk factors like diabetes, STIs, and mental health conditions are more common today and may be partially responsible. Data shows black and Native American mothers are most at risk. The American Academy of Pediatrics created its first clinical guidelines for opioid prescriptions. It recommends pediatricians prescribe the painkiller when necessary and also prescribe the overdose reversing drug naloxone alongside it. The guideline also says doctors should offer physical therapy and other non-pharmaceutical options to help reduce pain. Estrogens inhibit a type of white blood cell that helps keep tumors in check. A study from Duke University Medical Center suggests that suppressing the hormone could be a therapeutic approach to fight cancer. Researchers say estrogens also reduce the effectiveness of immunotherapies, and a study in mice found anti-estrogen drugs returned their potency. And the Biden administration announcing Medicare Part B enrollees will pay less for 54 prescription drugs. Many of those drugs are used to treat things like cancer, osteoporosis, pneumonia, and other conditions. The cuts are possible through a provision in the Inflation Reduction Act, making drug companies pay rebates if they raise Medicare prices faster than the rate of inflation. Patients will start seeing those price drops this week.